How many high school and college age students out there struggle with what is their purpose? What are they supposed to do in life? And they feel this angst and this anxiety that is really not necessary. It's brought on by societal and familial beliefs. What should they major in? What should their career be? They're 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. This is their question. This is their major stress in their life. And in large part, it is because there's this blueprint written out for them by say their family or by society or what they were taught in school. And it's just not always true for everybody. It doesn't fit everybody. Some people it does, but for the majority of kids, they end up believing it and, and they think that that's right. And they think that's the right path to go down. And quite frankly, sometimes it's easier that way because they don't have to think they just follow the blueprint, right? But then they get down the road a little bit and they realize this isn't for me. I don't like this. I'm miserable. I'm not getting good grades in school. I'm not doing well at my job. And it's because it's not aligning with you. You're not passionate about it. But the question is, how do these young kids, how do they figure out what their passion is, what their purpose is, and what they should do for the rest of their life? So how do you work past these preconceived notions of what you should do with your life and get to finding what you align with and, and what your purpose is. And I'm not saying that a 17 year old is going to find what they're gonna necessarily do for the rest of their life. If they do, my Lord, they are the happiest, luckiest people on this earth because I think most of us, we evolve over time and that's how we really figure out where we're gonna end up. But at least having a good solid beginning on trying to find what their purpose is and what they align with is certainly going to serve them a lot more than just blindly following a blueprint that somebody else made out for them. This is not going to be something that I can explain quickly in one video, but the one thing that is really good to do is have them write down everything that they've ever done in their life that excited them, that they felt passionate about, that they were excited to do again, that they wanted to talk about it with everybody, something like that. Let's start with that. And then we're going to move on from there. And I mean, it can be anything super simple. It could be playing cards with grandma. Okay. That was really exciting to do. Why was it exciting? Right? Um, maybe they love to rock climb. Uh, maybe they love to research things. You know, there's, there's so many things that we don't think of when we think of like, think of the things that excite you, the things that you love in your life. We always just go to like the basic hobbies, right? And we need to stop thinking that way. There's so much more. There's so many more clues out there that will lead us to our passion and to what aligns with us that really just write down everything. And then let's dissect it. Let's look into it. And then think back on things along the way in your life that have influenced you to be where you are today. And I think you'll find a lot of clues as to the direction you should go in. So if you want to learn more, stick with me, follow, subscribe, like all that great stuff, because I got so much more coming and I'm so excited to share it with you. So have a great day and I'll see you soon.